Developing now shockwaves rippling through one Snohomish County community this morning. This after a 13-year-old girl was shot and killed inside a mall. This happened at the Alderwood Mall in Linwood. Police say that girl caught in the crossfire of a gun battle in the food court. Let's get right to Como's Mo Hyder, who's been gassed. Jesus Christ, man. Niggas are savages, man. Gathering new information as the story has developed overnight. Mo. Yeah, of course, this is a very popular mall in the area. And as you mentioned, this happened inside at the food court. This is also at a time during dinner time when people were there with their family and friends as well. Go ahead and take a look at your screen here. This is from the Linwood Police. Mulatto, man. They killed that damn mulatto, man. They, these niggas ain't shit, man. How the fuck you gonna kill a mulatto, man? The fuck is wrong with these niggas? Y'all kill these dark... I don't... I don't give a fuck you killed a, a thousand dark butts. Don't touch these fucking mulattoes, bro. That's on me, bro. <laughs> That's wild. That's wild. They identified uh -huh. the victim as Jada Woods Johnson. We've learned there was an altercation inside between two groups, and that's when a teenager fired a gun and the bullet hit Johnson, who wasn't part of either group from what we've been told. Shit. She wasn't part of either group. She was just there being her little mulatto self. I'm sure some of them niggas probably hollered at her or some shit. Of course. Of and course. then they got the shooting, man, and she gets hit, man. That shit is sad, man. That shit is so fucked. That shit is terrible. This is a tragedy, man, that all jokes aside, man, this is this little girl was just there at the mall being at the mall doing what people do at the mall and two groups of goddamn moon crickets get to fucking arguing over some shit some uh over what you looking at or over man on on the set man the gang gang man and this girl just down there, she gets struck with a bullet and probably bleeds to death in the fucking floor of the food court. We've learned there was an altercation inside between two groups, and that's when a teenager fired a gun and the bullet hit Johnson, who wasn't part of either group from what we've been told. She had nothing to do with the altercation. We spoke to people who were inside at the time. They described the moments as scary and something difficult to process. One person who saw what happened to Johnson immediately tried to save her. I ran to the person. Uh, she was laying on the floor. Her friend was freaking out. She lost consciousness and then her pulse was dropping. So when her pulse was dropping, that's when we started doing CPR, mouth to mouth. We're also being told from there she was rushed to a nearby hospital where yeah, she it's later a, on. It's a, it's a nigga. There's a lot of Negroes around here, man. There's a lot of Negroes around here, man. Too many Negroes around here, man. Are you fucking sun burritos and shit. Yeah, man. Even it's, though it's look. It's a motherfucking low income uh, mall, man. Alderwood Mall. PR, bounce to mouth. So being told from there, she was rushed to a nearby hospital where she later on died. There's still a lot to this investigation at this time. We haven't been told what this altercation was about, what led up to this as well. We're certainly keep you updated once we do get that information, though. For now, live in Linwood, no hydro Como News. And Mo, we know the suspect is in custody. What do we know about him and his arrest? Yeah, hi. Well, according to the Linwood Police Department, they do say he is a 16-year-old teenager from the Edmonds area. We also do know that his mother actually brought him to the police station where he then turned himself in. We also do know... Mom brought him to the police station. He might not be some... He might be some... He might not be blacks, man. He might not be blacks, man. Mom brought him to the police station, man. Yeah, Big Mama, Big Mama ain't doing that shit, bro. Well, if they put a warrant out for your arrest and you say, you know, that's true. Yeah, that's doing true. That shit. I mean, we have we have stories of them doing it. It's just not common. 
Uh, this place is Linwood is 49% white, 16.6% Hispanic, 19.4% Asian, and 8.8% black. If she, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put it like this. If she turned them in as as a son, mama, a big mama, she ain't like that nigga, bro. If big mama love you, you can kill twenty niggas, bro, right in front of her. She ain't, she ain't gonna say shit, bro. She gonna hold you down. No, he's being booked in jail for murder. We have not been told about the potential charges he could face, so we're certainly keep you updated on that, though, once we do find out. All right, Mo Hyder reporting for us live this morning. Mo, thank you. We have reported on violence near the mall this year, but not inside until now. Back in February, Linwood police investigated armed carjackings outside the AMC theater, theater, which is outside the mall, but across from the food court entrance. Two people were robbed at gunpoint, taken, uh, their cars were taken. Four young people, including two 14-year-olds, were later arrested in that case. The last... Definitely, 1,000% niggas. 14-year-olds uh, people, that's niggas. Violent incident in the mall's food court was back in 2017, <clears throat> excuse me, when a man stabbed a security guard during a scuffle over food handling practices. That guard was not seriously injured, and the person who stabbed him claimed he acted in self-defense. All right, that brings us to this morning's Como Post Bowl, so grab your cell phone this morning. We have covered so many cases involving young teens and guns recently, so this is what we're asking this morning as you grab your cell phone. What do you think? What, what do you guys think is the Kids like impulse control, 100%, bro. It's nothing else, bro. It's kids lacking impulse control, and that's from DNA. Sun man lack impulse control. That's that's it. That's it. Remove the kids because all of them are kids. Eighty-year-old kids, seventy-year-old kids, forty-year-old kids. They're all, they're all toddlers. I take all of them, right. I'm playing I'll take, too much GTA. I will take every one of these and just cross it out and just put black right here. A hundred percent. Is blacks. That's what it is. And all these are true. Yes, all these are reasons. Lack of parental guidance. No, perceived I lack of think, guidance. I don't think none of that is true. Well, all, all of these are sub-factors. DNA is the dominant factor. But yes, these are sub-factors. Yes, these are these are um peripheral, on the peripheral. But the main thing, right, you said D N. A. DNA. I think is the biggest driver of gun violence among young people. 43% there in the second spot saying perceived lack of legal consequences. 33%, so a third of our folks responding so far this morning saying a lack of parental guidance. 16% saying guns are too easy to access. You see these numbers changing live. 7% saying kids lack impulse control. Let us know what you think as we deal with another violent why. act involving teens. Like Just point your cell phone's control. camera at that. I wonder why that one is so low. It's white people. It's white people th um, taking the. This is a majority. The majority of the people taking this poll from the from the from the demographics of this place are not black. They don't want to offend. They don't want to offend, so they not they don't want to attack. You know, they don't want to go too hard on kids, so they'll say like, "Well, yeah, he has lack impulse control." Most of them is not going to vote for that. Guns is too easy. I suspect that's coming from the the news news agency in itself. I don't think anyone voted for that nonsense. I think uh, lack of parental guidance probably got like maybe sixty percent. Yeah, white people think that like this can be fixed, so that they're gonna choose the two ones that you know what I'm saying can be yeah, that, a solution. It seems like it's in your immediate control. It's like, all right, lack of parental guidance. All right, what can we do to help fix that? Perceive lack of consequences. All right, what, like, what programs can we do to, like, oh. yeah. And then you got guns too easy to access. They already think like that's one of the biggest factors. Like, oh, it's too many guns and shit. So 
th- those three, it seems like you can have more uh, control Bro. over it. The last one, it's like, if they like impulse control, like, what, what the fuck do you do about that? Yeah, there's nothing you can do about somebody else's impulse control. That QR code on the right-hand side of your screen, there's going to be a link that pops up. Tap that with your finger, and that will take you directly to our poll at comonews.com. Take a good look at this picture posted tonight by Linwood Police. This guy right here in this white hooded, or this white sweatshirt. Police said a teen here in the white sweatshirt is a suspect. And it might even be a hooded sweatshirt. It's hard to tell in this shot, but you can see it from the front here. A suspect in a shooting that happened in the food court this evening in Alderwood Mall. He remains on eight <laughs> percent black town, and we all, and then we all, we all, everybody here knew it was a black kid in an eight percent black town. <laughs> you know the migrations to Seattle when you do your research on that this is something that is fairly new like they started coming into Seattle in the late 90s it only took them a few years it's just find that city upside down yeah and those white people they're they're very those white people are very woke up there I'm so happy that they're getting it what they what they wanted I love it man those white people of so uh virtue signaling and woke minnesota too yeah all those places are getting exactly what you know they asked for look at that little nappy head and killed that mulatto chick like oh, and he wait, don't feel no, did it, man. yeah he don't feel no ways about it man on the run tonight He's believed to be armed, and they're asking for anybody who recognizes this guy. I know it's a little hard to see his face, but maybe you recognize him just from this shot here to call 911. Ryan Sims joins us tonight. He's been working on this story all afternoon and evening long. Ryan, what's the latest for us tonight? What have you learned? We learned some pretty troubling things about what happened here at the Alderwood Mall, Preston. Uh, first and foremost, the victim in this case is a teenage girl. We don't know her exact uh, age, but she is a teenager. And in this is last country, night. This was the last night. This the, the other story was the, from the from the previous day, I mean from today. That's that's the coverage from last night. Before they, the, the suspect is in custody now. A tiny electronic device caused big problems for Amara Hay.